launch Microsoft Excel on your computer. Select Blank Workbook. You will then go to the Insert menu and click on Image. And you may need to click on the drop down to get it, depending on your screen resolution. You will now browse for the file that you want to insert into your spreadsheet to resize. Select it and click on the insert button. Your image will now be placed on your worksheet. Select the image by clicking on it and on the top right corner of your toolbar, you will see boxes for your image height and image width. Enter the amount of inches that you would like to resize your width to. Then click on the image height box and type in the desired height and press the Enter key. Keep in mind you will use the dimensions that are appropriate for the canvas you will be using for your painting. Once you have your image inserted and resized, you will then go to the File menu and select the Print command. From the Printing options, make sure you have your printer selected if you have more than one. You will then go to the bottom and select narrow margins. That is to cut down on the amount of waste of paper. You may have to choose either landscape or portrait and see which one gives you the least amount of pages. In this case, we are leaving it at portrait and clicking on print. Here we'll show you how to trim and tape your printed image to put it together. As you can see, I have two printed sheets for the gnome, and we are going to use a paper cutter to trim off the margins at the top and bottom of our pages. If you don't have a paper trimmer, you can also use a scissor or a knife blade with a, with a ruler. So here I'm getting ready to trim off the margin at the bottom of the first page. I'm lining it up with my paper cutter. Now, if your image had sides that you had to trim to piece more than two pages, let's say you had horizontal and it went to three, four pages, you'll have to trim those as well. Here I'm trimming the top margin of the second page and I'm going to then also trim the excess of the bottom of the printout that is not being used. The larger the image that you print, the more pieces you will end up with. And you'll just put them together like a jigsaw puzzle prior to taping. In this case, it was simple because I only had two pieces to deal with. I am lining them up and then using my tape to tape the edges together. You can use one long piece if you wish. I prefer to use the smaller pieces because they tend to crinkle up on me. And there you have it. Our traceable is ready to transfer onto our canvas. We're going to go over how to trace our image onto our canvas. This is a 12 by 16 inch stretched canvas. I am lining up the gnome where I want to place it on my canvas. I am then going to use painter's tape, which has low tack. 
to tape it onto my canvas. This is very important. If you are taping over a painted surface, you want to make sure that your surface is completely dry before going to this step or else your tape will not stick. I am using CraftSmart graphite paper, which I purchased at Michael's. It is basically glorified copy paper that you can also get at your office supply store. If I was tracing onto a dark image, I would instead use Sorrel transfer paper, which you can get off Amazon or any other um, art supply store. So you can see this looks just like copy paper. I am placing it under it, lining it up. I will then take a pen. In this case, I'm using a blue pen so I know where I have traced over and where I have not. It just makes it easier. It can be red or any other color, different color pen. I'm going to speed up the process here. And I'm just going to go over all the parts of my image. Make sure that your tape stays put and your image is not being moved as you are tracing. Also, if you do not have copy paper, you can use a graphite pencil and go over the back side, over your lines of your entire tracing on the back side. And that will also allow you to transfer onto your canvas, just like I'm using the copy paper or the graphite paper. And before I remove it, I'm gonna be sure that all my lines, I've gone over all my lines, I'm not missing any parts. And there you have it. Hope this video has helped. Thank you for watching.